<clears throat> Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm not showing my face actually because I'm not in position to. I don't have my camera today but still I wanted to upload a video. So I might as I decided to upload a color grading video. Uh, people keep talking about cinematic look these days and uh, for me cinematic means film like. If something looks like film, it looks cinematic. But there are a lot of characteristics that go into making something look very filmic. But you have the cheat code here in Resolve itself. You don't have to go anywhere else. You don't have to buy LUTs, you know. There are free LUTs available here in Resolve that you can use to give that filmic look to your footage. Now the thing with these uh, LUTs is that you cannot simply just drag and drop these LUTs onto your footage and expect good results. Because you're not gonna get the desired results. There's a proper way of using these LUTs onto your footage. The thing is that whatever color space and gamma you shot your footage in, you're going to have to convert that into Cineon film log gamma. So you're going to have to convert it into that gamma to in order to use these LUTs. Let me show you through example. For example, we have this footage. I shot this on my Fujifilm X-T4. Now we're going to make two nodes. One is for conversion CST that is color space transform. And another one is for LUT. So we're going to have to first convert it into Cineon film log from our Fujifilm F log. We will have to convert it into Cineon film log. So we will drag and drop color space transform. You should know your input color space in gamma. Mine is uh, input color space for me is rec 2020 and input gamma is Fujifilm F log. Now it's naturally converting my uh, footage into Rec 709 because uh, my output color space in Gamma is set to use timeline and in my project settings my uh, output color space and timeline color space is set to Rec 709 which is fine but uh, we want this to be converted into Cineon Film Log so output Gamma has to be selected as Cineon Film Log. Now that we've converted our Fujifilm F-Log footage into Cineon Film Log, we can use whatever LUT we want to. Come to the LUT node and select one of these LUTs according to your own preference. We have two LUTs here basically, Kodak 2383 and Fuji 513D1. Fuji 513DI, I'm so sorry. Uh, and these two LUTs are available in different temperatures. So these three LUTs are uh, Kodak 2383 LUTs and we, the, we have these three LUTs in different temperatures here. Let's see which one look best. Okay. So as you can see, the temperature is changing. The 55 one is the one with the warmer temperatures and uh, 65 one is uh, leading towards the colder uh, temperatures. We have more split toning in this one. Not exactly more split toning, but we have more blues in the shadow areas. I think I'm going to just go with the warmer one for this look. So that is how you apply these film looks onto your footage. You can't just simply drag and drop these LUTs onto your footage to use these. This is the proper way. These LUTs will give your videos such filmic vibe. Let's just grab a still and let's just apply this onto uh, some other footages. So this is the one I took recently. Bam. It's converted into uh, Kodak 2383. So this is not exactly going to go well with every video. We might have to make certain adjustments according to whatever uh, white balance the footage was shot in. This looks beautiful. We might want to uh, do some color adjustments and uh, exposure adjustments here. But um, as far as I can see, it looks very nice, very pleasing. The main characteristic according to me is the beautiful highlight roll off. Even if the LUT itself has increased the contrast by quite a lot, still our highlights, highlights are blown out technically, but still the highlight roll off looks very beautiful. Highlights don't look very harsh. I'm just uh, applying it on different footages so that you can see how to uh, use these LUTs. And uh, you might want to make some adjustments according to your footage's requirement. I applied this one on this footage before it, it was looking very good. Yes. Let me show you before and after. 
and if you want to like uh, as you can see there are a lot of details here in the cloud and we are losing uh, the detail after we've applied the LUT so we can anyway do some uh, selective adjustments in our secondaries uh, we can draw a mask or we can maybe use HDR wheels to bring the highlight uh, details back so that can always be done I'm not gonna do that in this video but that is also doable so if you're losing some uh, detail in the highlights don't be scared resolve, resolve has such uh, amazing advanced tools that you can always uh, rely on so this was about uh, So this is the proper way of using these film looks in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, if you want more videos on color grading, you can subscribe to this channel. I'm going to upload a lot more technical videos and a lot more gear reviews on this channel. So you can subscribe and wait for those videos as well. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, be kind, keep grinding. Bye-bye.